Takes criminal cases in the Flint water crisis goes to court tomorrow. Nick Lyon, the top Michigan health official charged with misconduct and also the big one, involuntary manslaughter. So did Lyon fail to warn about the outbreak of Legionnaire's disease as it was happening and as people were dying? And should he stand trial? Seven investigator Jim Kirchner has been on the crisis since the very beginning, breaks down this important case. Three, Three two, two, one. This simple switch in April of 2014 created the Flint water crisis. The move off the Detroit water system to the Flint River was done while under a state takeover of Flint to save millions. Here's the Flint. Here's the Flint. Here, here, here. People in Flint could soon see, taste, and smell the awful change. They had no idea how serious it would get. A team led by Virginia Tech water expert Dr. Mark Edwards would determine the Flint River water was more corrosive and was not treated. Flint pediatrician Dr. Mona Hanna Atesia would confirm kids had gotten lead poisoning. 9,000 kids were exposed. By late 2014, dozens of vulnerable seniors would get Legionnaire's disease. 12 would die. It would be a full year later, the first high-profile visit by a state official. And it was not the governor, but the directors of health and environmental quality. This is certainly a situation that deserves attention. I do not think that it rises to the level of a statewide emergency. Why not? Um, there's, there's just, um, it, the, we are here with the resources necessary to address the situation without that declaration. In court documents, the Michigan Attorney General and his team allege Lyon knew about the Legionnaires outbreak at least by January of 2015, maybe earlier. They also allege Lyon would later say, quote, he can't save everyone. Everyone has to die of something. In October of 2015, the governor came to Flint with the money to switch the Flint water source back to Detroit. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a big shot or no shot at all. If laws are violated, then those who violated the law must be held accountable. Governor Snyder has not fired Lyon. In fact, the state is paying for his defense attorneys. What did you know and when did you know it? Well, again, we're going through that whole process. That was the point of appointing an independent group to go through the whole timeline of events. You're not answering my question. What well, did I you answered know your question. and when did you know it today? So, again, we're going to do this in a comprehensive fashion, not a piecemeal fashion. Just one week later, the governor and his top health officials finally made public the spike in fatal Legionnaire's disease cases. In terms of the spike, in terms of the specific numbers, I was, I was told about this a couple days ago, and then basically... Um, it, I thought it should be shared. I think it's important to note exactly what Governor Snyder said. This is part of our efforts to be uh, transparent and share information. The delay in the disclosure was even confirmed here. This has been something that our health department and the Genesee County Health Department have working together closely on uh, since this event in a year and a half, well, approximately a year and a half ago. Dr. Eden Wells is charged with obstruction of justice and lying to an investigator. Her case is pending in court. Nick Lyon is in court tomorrow, charged with involuntary manslaughter and misconduct in office. If it is determined that it's related to the Flint River switch, how diabolical and, and disastrous is that in your mind, Governor? That just adds to the disaster we already are facing. Meet the man in the middle of the disaster, the former chief of staff. In the chain of command, he would be in between Nick Lyon and the governor. Well, were you and the governor angry that you didn't get that information in a more timely manner? I'm sure he's angry. I'm, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> You're over being angry. You, you mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over being angry about it because it doesn't do any good. How did the governor your, find out? I mean, who called him? Nick. Nick did. Nick Lyon's hearing is expected to run several days. It will determine if he goes to trial and his fate decided by a jury. If convicted of involuntary manslaughter, he's facing up to 15 years in prison. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you so much. Other cases of involuntary manslaughter are against former emergency manager Darnell Early, three other state officials and one Flint City official, all cases pending in court. Not over anytime soon. Meantime